Hello everyone, this is Kelsey here and I'm just going to do a video. Um, it's going to be quite um, quite long because I want to go through um, music first. So this is um, to go through each of the apps in music first. Um, and also I'm going to show you a few ways to open tasks. Um, so let's get started. The first thing I want you to note is that the best way to use the apps in general is using Chrome, so not Safari, but like here they've got the Sight Reading Factory, which is one of the apps, and they listed a little bit different, so our phones and iPads, Safari browser, etc, etc. So I'll send a link in the description that maybe you can see a little bit more of the best options for you to um, use the apps, um, depending on if you're using iPhone, iPad, um, Android tablets or phone computers, etc. Okay, so please also just be aware that some of these take a little while to load. So the first thing I'm going to open up is Aurelia. Um, and you, it will redirect and you need to install it firstly. So you'll see that once this page um, goes to launch Aurelia, it will give you the option Mac or Windows to download. You need to download that software first. And then once you've done that, I've already done that, I'll click launch software and say open Aurelia 6 Cloud so that you can hear us busy opening up. Um, and while that opens up, I'm basically going to go back here and explain Aurelia. Aurelia is um, oral. Um, it's for oral um, uh, oral training, so mostly improving your listening ability. Um, it's really, really great for just all-round musicianship. So let's just wait for that to load. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how Aurelia works. So here we have Aurelia. Um, first of all, there's different levels. We have introductory, beginner, or intermediate. You might have more or less, depending on your bundle. Um, so we're going to start with um, a few of these examples. So I'm going to keep it in, uh, in introductory. If you look here, we have interval, interval comparison. That means they'll go da 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 and say which interval you know is um, larger, etc. They'll do interval recognition, how to uh, identify perfect fifths, octaves. Um, eventually, all of them, um, they'll talk about scales, how to identify different scales, and tonality, major, minor. Then we have pitch imitation. You'll see pitches of C major triad played within vocal range, and they'll basically um, ask you to imitate different pitch um, different pitches that they give you. They also do dictation, so they'll play you back something, and then you can, let's just go start. So let's just say, I want to get this wrong. Um, and then let's say that that's what I heard. And I'll say submit. And they'll say, no, I don't want to try again. Uh, not right now. I'm not going to try again. So no. And then they'll actually give you um, the correct answer. That's what it was. Um, so it's really, really helpful. And, and pretty much all of them do this. So that's the pitch dictation. We have melodic comparison and, and same melodic um, dictation. And then tuning as well. So identify if the second note is sharp or flatter um, and so on. Then we have chord comparison. Um, can we compare different chords? So identify whether the two played chords are the same or different. Um, and they obviously take that up depending on the level and as well as chord recognition. Is it major, minor? Um, is, you know, this is root position chords, if they're inverted, block chords, etc. I'm going to switch now to intermediate. So you can see that there's a few chord imitation. We look at repertoire. So can you identify the following works? Um, you know, composer, can you identify the different composers? Um, this one's quite a cool one to see if you can tap the pulse. So they play you something. So if I press play.
And let's say um, that I finished there, basically. Okay, so let's just stop that. So basically, then I tap the pulse um, with my spacebar or a MIDI keyboard, if you want to do that. Um, then we've got recognizing different meters, and these are basically your rhythm, rhythm styles, rhythm styles, imitating rhythm, etc. Um, then you're listening to dynamics there and texture and density. So these are really great for like ABRSM exams and stuff like that. Um, cadences later, um, you talk about fire, perfect cadence, authentic, uh, authentic um, uh, cadences, imperfect, play, goal, half cadence, and so on. Um, different forms and chord progressions. Then you can also go into the test part of it, which if you get a task assigned, probably it will be one of the tests to do. Awesome, so that's Aurelia. Um, let us continue on our journey. The next one I'm going to show you is called Focus on Sound. Um, Focus on Sound is basically like a music dictionary. Um, it's online, so you don't need to download it. Um, so let's just wait for this to load. Okay, so you can see they give you the option dictionary. Um, you can look up woodwinds. Um, you know, you can do tests in this. There are some lessons that you can work through. Um, basically, you can also, if you go into the dictionary, you can tap in, let's say, allegro, if you didn't know the meaning of it. Um, and, what, and you would find out what it says. So just quite a nice dictionary. And you can look under the tests tab as well um, for, for tests on all of these um, if you wanted to study them and learn instruments or so on and so forth. Okay, so that's focus on sound. Let us go to the next one. I'm going to look at musician. So musician is another one that we need to download. So if I click on it, it will take a while to redirect. And then it will load. And now we're, we can either download it for Mac or Windows. I've already installed it. So I'm just gonna say launch software, Open Musician 6 Cloud. So while that loads, um, and basically Musician is for the more the theory side of things. Um, so we're gonna look at that and you can, it's, it's very similar to Aurelia, but instead of oral tests, it's more the actual theory side of music. Okay, so while this is loading, just takes a little while to load. Okay, perfect. So let's have a look in Musician 6. So um, this talks about you can learn how to read pitches faster, intervals, scales. Um, they also even do solfege signing, so with your hand, you can see they, they show different hand positions for different, um, you know, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, la, ti. Um, and that is really helpful if you inquire or if you use that, it's not often used though. Um, stem direction, when it should be up, when the stem should be down. Um, identifying instruments. So... <laughs> Cool, is this an alto or a trumpet? So let's see. And then you click submit, and they're like, yay, you got it right. Um, let's try and get it wrong. So let's say if I don't set a music guitar, say it's snare drum, then they'll say, no, I got it wrong, and I don't want to try again, and they'll tell me what it is. So pretty cool. Um, then we've got rhythm, rhythm notation, how to subdivide. Um, a little bit of these overlap with the Aurelia. Um, you've also um, got the different options for intermediate. Um, you can look at periods, composers, um, what are ornaments, different guitar symbols, um, and then also looking at key signatures, cadences, chord progressions, um, but more uh, from the analysis point of view instead of the listening 
or the oral perspective. And then they've got tests included in there. So those are musician on Ore there are the um, two things that you would want to download. Um, let's continue. The next one is Noteflight. So Noteflight now is a music notation program, um, quite a, a, a lot simpler than Sibelius or Finale. Um, so, oh, so let's have a look at this. If we open this up, we can say create score. Um, you don't need to download this, so it's all online. Um, you can say, uh, you can pick whatever you want. I would just, even if you were going to add a whole orchestra, I would just choose the piano and then you can add it later. I'll show you how to add more instruments. Or if you want to import to XML files, I'll show you where on new something, a website called MuseScore, how to get those XML files. So let's just go for now, I'm going to say piano, or you can import a file. It's going to create our piano stave and you just see I can either touch D or I can play whatever notes I want. If I want to change um, the duration of the note, I go here to this little box to duration and let's say I want a whole note, I click whole note and then I can make it a whole note um, and so forth. You can see they've got tempo here, you can set your tempo, you can write different things. So it's basically selecting and then you can use all of these options. Um, you can add measures, add bar lines, um, different you know, colors. Um, so you can really take time to go through all of these articulation as here. Um, for staccato, dynamics are there. Um, also, if you have text, expression text is like forte or dynamics. Performance text, like um, that would be your pizzicato or things like that. Rehearsal letters and then lyrics. Um, perfectly. So if we look at score, um, we can actually see that we can save this. So it's always a good idea to save. Also export. So if I click export, it will come up that I can have a PDF of it. I can have individual parts. So let's say that I had a string orchestra. I could have a violin part, viola part, cello, double bass part. Um, both of those in one PDF or a music XML file. It, let's say you had done this before and you saved it and you wanted to import it back into Noteply because you had lost it for whatever reason, you'd do that. Uh, a MIDI file, MIDI works in many programs like Logic, Pro Tools, Digital Performer, Cubase, um, Sibelius, Finale, etc. Um, most, well, all DAWs. Um, you can even open it in Soundtrap, which we'll look at later. It's like an um, online, quick, easy DAW to use. Then we've got w uh, Wave Audio, which is the highest quality audio we can get, depending on the settings. MP3, which is compressed. And a note flat score, because this is note flat. That's what they save it as. So let's click um, out of there. So that's how you would export and import. Um, you can see the buttons are also at the top. If you wanted to add parts, you can just click parts and say add parts. And let's say I want a um, cello section, not a solo. So I say, okay, let's say now I want some, mm, let's see, unpitched percussion. Let's say I want some congas, then I can add them and so forth. And you can delete them or edit them as you wish. Um, so you can change the name or whatever you would like to do. Okay, so that is note flat in a nutshell. Um, anything that you need, you can look from this measure. These are kind of short, short hands of what's in this drop down menu. Okay, perfect. Um, oh, and one last thing, sorry. If you press play, let's just go out of here. If I press play, it will play back to me. Um, and if I have cello, and I, I have to press stop, if I've played it to import notes again. So, and then congas. There's my conga sound. Um, so, if I had to listen to this, 
yeah so that's just um you can also record things in here if you have any keyboard etc um and transcribe cool okay so that is note flat it's our software tab now we're gonna go to o generator it's probably the one that i've least used let's wait for it to load but so you can experiment in this one basically for making beats um next one um okay the next one is practice first really 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 nice um way to practice with your music so basically you would go here and select your instrument so let's leave it as viola for now um, and you would say, okay, they've, they've loaded in some stuff, but I'll show you how to use it for other stuff. So let's say that we wanted to play the first, okay, silent night. Um, we can actually, once it loads, we can listen to it. So we can press play at the top. And what's quite nice is if we go more to playback, we can actually just use the backing track by itself. Here, um, so silent night. So if I had to record it, um, there would be a count off. And so on. So if I um if I go stop, they tell me I played um fifty three percent. I played a few wrong notes, um and then they basically say you were sixteen cent sharp on average. They give a little bit of feedback. If I try to do the whole thing, so and you can listen back to it to hear how you played. Let's try. Um, I just want to do it. So they'll match, you can also match the recording, but. So you can go back and have a listen to that, sorry, the demo recording. So you can go back and back and forth between them. And then they give you really nice, they say, oh, you were here moderately sharp, you were flat here. They, you know, they didn't hear this note, you sang this well, um, you sang the wrong note there, <laughs> clearly, um, the wrong note here, yeah, and so on. And they basically give you feedback on how you play. Okay. Um, awesome. So that's this program. Um, I want to show you one other thing. If we go back here and we go to my exercises, um, you can see that I've got a few different ones that I've uploaded. But basically, if I say create my own exercise, I can load in a score file um, or audio file. But you know, if you wanted to play along with something. But I'm going to show you how the score file thing works. So if I type in new score, um, now, please note, MuseScore is free. They, you just have to log in with an email. Um, please, please, please um, don't say start free trial or whatever. Just make sure that you can go, um, I think, just sign up for MuseScore and follow the, um, basically create an account and just follow what they do. Um, create an account, uh, register here, enter your username and password, and that's it. And I think you get about 20 downloads a day. Um, so that's all you need to do. Okay, so let's say that I, I chose this piece, Pentatonics. I really like this piece, Mary, did you know? So I clicked on it. And I say download. Now you should download MuseScore. MuseScore. So once you click on that, it will download. I've already imported, so I went load score. And you can see I've already got the pentatonics loaded in because it takes a little while to load. Um, but here it is. So any 
um, music from this new score, you can actually put into practice first and you can play along with it and it will give you feedback. So it's absolutely incredible. This might take a little bit of time to load. So while this is loading, I'm going to go to O generator and I'm going to say that, um, let's say we wanted to do that and say, okay. Okay, so it's loaded, so you can have a listen to it. So you could use the different parts, you could say play back what you want, um, which part you're using is over here. So if you wanted to only listen to which part, and you can actually change um, if you don't want a piano sound, you can make a vocal sound, etc. Change the tempo um and so forth and also you welcome to record it so if you put it on piano two and you want to do this part which is just the second vocal part then you can actually record it just the way that i showed you previously okay so that's practice first um while this is still loading um remember that new score there's so many if you just tap piano on here i think there are something like over ten thousand pieces um there's so many pieces maybe yeah if there's a there's basically it should come up on the side but you can see there's just it's really a lot of music that you can play so you can find a lot of cool stuff in there that you can learn um so yeah sorry this um the next thing i'm going to show you is sight reading factory So this, we basically say start sight reading. Um, we choose whatever instrument we want from strings, woodwinds, whatever. Let's say we could also choose tone set if we were singing or vocal things. Um, let's say we're gonna go with violin, let's say level five. We can choose a key signature. Um, let's say we're practicing F major scale and say start free play. So now the cool thing is, is that if this is maybe too big, you can just bring it down there in settings. Um, the best thing is obviously for you to play it first through. You can check the tuning. Um, you can listen to a metronome. And after you've played it, you can actually... Should be able to listen to it sorry if you say synth audio you have to check synth audio and it should load so that's it's playing the synth audio you can also put your cursor let's say you wanted to put the metronome on as well you could listen to the metronome Or if you wanted to repeat a certain section in loop, let's say you wanted to practice um, select, sorry, select measures first, you wanted to practice these two measures. So that's how you would practice those measures. Um, and then you can do that. So that's pretty much it. If you don't like this one, you just click next and voila, it gives you another one. Um, and you can change the keys. If you go back here, you can change whatever you'd like to change. There's also a challenge mode um, where it gives you, okay, you have 30 seconds and you can kind of set what you want. Um, if you want the audio on, if you want disappearing measures, and we'll talk all about that a little bit later, but it basically gives you less time to do all of this. Okay, um, I don't know why this is still loading. Um, so Soundtrap is the last one. And this is basically like a DAW, online DAW, which means Digital Audio Workstation. Um, you can record into this. So let's say, I have an untitled song here, so I'm just going to click on it, see, 
and say studio, sorry, or you can say enter studio if you want a new one. And they're both loading. Okay, here we in our generator. So you can create, choose instruments and compose with it, compose lessons, um, uh, percussion, wind and brass are different, play along with them, teacher lessons and so on. So there, there's quite a lot of things that you can play around with in our generator. Um, yeah, so have a look at that. If you're interested, I can talk more about it. Okay, um, so basically I'm gonna load this project. This is something that I just did in two seconds. So let's wait for it to load. And so in Soundtrap, you can see that I've, I've loaded a grand piano and this vanilla, which is a, a drum set. Um, if you if you have a MIDI keyboard and you want to use it, then basically you need to go in settings here at the top and say MIDI settings and make sure you choose whatever keyboard that you want. Okay. Um, then, okay, so basically let's have a listen to this. So that's a little thing. You can see that I, if I add a new track, I can say drums and beats. And I can basically click what I want to play. Um, so yeah, that's basically how to use this. Um, if you want to spend more time in this, you, you're most welcome to let me know, but you can add many different instruments um, and add loops, etc. Okay, now I'm going to go into your view. Um, let's say that I've assigned you a sight reading task. Okay, um, now you're gonna say open in sight reading factory. And they say test your microphone. So they'll do a little countdown so that you can test your microphone. Okay, and I'm like, I'll listen to it. And yay, it sounds good. And I enter. So you'll see that this is um, basically you click violin. Um, because that's the instrument that was given and you you can see that I've signed you 30 seconds you have eight measures that's your tempo um, you can try different ones as many times I put the metronome on and the disappearing measures are off for this one so let's start the assignment so you'll see that they'll give you here's your countdown at the top they'll give you 30 seconds to play it to try whatever you want um, and then see after that time it will count down to four and then yeah if you want to skip this you would just click ready so let's just wait for it so you would be reviewing this and then if now it will count down So da 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 whatever I'm just singing da 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 da. So it basically records everything that you're playing. Okay, and then it will um, the the measures will disappear as as soon as you. So you can be like, okay, awesome, that was amazing. I'm gonna submit it, or I'd like to try another. And take note that if you press try another. Um, you this this won't be submitted to me and you'll get a completely new one and 30 seconds again okay so that's that task so i'm going to leave that let's go back to this is pentatonics in practice first so if i assign this to you basically you'll get the instruction you'll say open and practice first and you'll get this piece played and it will be the same thing you'll be able to record it um, and try that out and paint it, this piece, yeah, like we looked before. Okay, the next one is, let's go back. 
Next one is long, long ago variation. So what I've done is I've played this on the piano. So you open up and practice first. Now this is playing along with an audio. Um, whoops, not created this assignment, but it should have opened. Apologies about that. Basically, once you open this, you'll see in practice first, there'll just be a little audio tab. Um, and from that audio tab, you'll be able to play along with my original recording. Um, so that's how to do that. Then the other two are sets. So the next one is chord recognition. That's open in Aurelia. And you'll do that test and follow the instructions. And the last one that I put in here was in musician, an introductory test in musician. So you just click open in musician. I hope that was very helpful. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much.